Hi, I am Claire. Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I am going to be doing a family home in The Sims 4. So, I just wanted to build a family home. Nothing really, you know, not a real reason behind it. I just wanted to do a house that is only using the base game and the new growing together pack. I thought that'd be fun. So, I did build this in the world of a waste uh, new crest in the world of new crest and so if you just have the base game and growing together you can totally play in this house and so we are just going to kind of be finishing up the base of the kitchen and now i'm just going to be adding some cabinets and some other decoration and so we are just going to be matching the cabinet colors with the counters and i did want to add some shelves over here in the corner by the front of the house and I just use these plain white shelves from the base game. Just kind of something simple but also realistically something easy for your sims or somebody to grab and so we are just going to rearrange the oven and the refrigerator. Felt like it made a little bit more sense in, in this orientation. And so there is no island, but I hope there is enough counter space for your sims to possibly cook together. I don't really like play with the sims that much, but I do love the feature of your sims cooking together. I know that feature has kind of been out for a while, but I really do like that feature of cooking together. And so we're just going to be adding some decorations up on the shelf and I just wanted to make it a little like cute and cozy feeling over here. I don't, I, or I guess I didn't try to over clutter this kitchen and so I just kind of have all of the stuff in this corner mostly and so we are just going to be going and adding some pictures now. I I don't really know why, but I was like, I should add two garbage cans in this house. That would be super cool. And so we are also just going to be adding some aprons that go along with the backsplash, which is my new favorite backsplash in this game. And I've been wanting a backsplash like herringbone for a while. And so I'm glad we finally got it in this pack and so now we are just going to be going into the front of the house which is going to be the living room and entryway and I probably should have started with the space but I kind of had like a more of an idea of what I wanted to do with the kitchen as usual and so we are just going to be adding these side chairs that match the little fro rug on the sofa and I thought that was really cute just to bring a little bit of matching but not like overly like it's all the same and so we are just going to be adding a little coffee table and going to be just adjusting a little bit just making sure it doesn't look too cramped and now we are going to be adding the dining room table and this is just a very simple table. I was trying to keep this whole house simple. This is a house for a family of four, soon to be five, and so we are just going to be adding a rug and going down in the basement to be adding some carpet. I don't usually do basements, so I'm like, hey, there's a new basement kit. I should do some stuff in the basement, but I completely didn't really add anything from the basement kit. I'm sorry. I decided that the basement would be more like of a fun kids playroom area. And so we are just going to be adding a little bit of decorations in this half bath off of the front door. 
and going to be working a little bit on the entryway, starting with this rug, and we're just going to be adding a table and putting some decorations, and going to be adding this coat hook. And I thought it looked too crowded in this area, so I may move the coat hook over to the other side of the door. And just going to be changing the swatch on the table and going to be adding a mirror above the table. So before your sims leave the house, they can check themselves to make sure they all they look good. And so you're just going to be adding some decorations. I did want to add some shoes underneath the table, but it just seemed a little too crowded especially since i can't or i didn't want to use the dream home decorator pack i had the only like shoe option in the base game is that like shoe rack like stacks on top of each other and so we are just going to be adding a picture in the living or living room dining room area and going to just be now working on the basement area the first thing i did was add a half bath in to the space so if your toddler is playing and doesn't want to climb two flights of stairs to use the toilet they can just go away in here and you, you have some privacy in this space and so we are just going to be adding a little cabinet and going to be just kind of making this very simple in here. I didn't want to like overdo it. This is just kind of like the bathroom that the kids would use and so it's like not really that big and so we are just going to be adding a picture and going to be adding this coffee table and then raising it up a few so it looks like kind of more like a dresser, kind of like an old handy down and so we are just going to be adding some wallpaper. I just add it on the wall next to the bathroom just to not make it too crazy but to give it a little bit of personality and so we're just going to be adding a little baby play mat and going to be adding this rug from the growing together pack and I thought that would just be a fun little play rug and now we're just going to be adding some bookshelves and a dollhouse and I did want to like use the bookshelves somewhere else, make it kind of like a fun like uh, headboard for a toddler's bed or a kid's bed, but I decided just to leave them down here and have them just kind of be decoration, I guess. And so we are just going to be adding a lot of toys down here in this space and I just wanted it to feel like the parents don't really necessarily come down here to make sure the this area is clean. This is kind of like the kid zone for them to bring all their friends and play and so we are just going to be adding some cloud wallpaper or some cloud stickers just to bring another like fun element into this space and so just going to be adding a rabbit tablet in. and that will help your toddlers get their skills up faster and so I wanted to make sure I included that in this space and I am just kind of playing the idea of like moving the bookshelves on to the wall with the wallpaper by sided just to leave it back here in the corner and then have this area up here be kind of like a kid's tv space and so we do have to kind of rearrange a little bit but i feel like this kind of gives like kind of like it gives the zones in a way so like there's like a play zone and then there's like kind of like a media zone and so we are just going to be adding some chairs and going to try to make this space seem like really fun somewhere where like everybody wants to hang out if they're a kid and so we are just going to be changing the color of a few things and going to be adding these fun balloon lamps which I kind of forget about kind of like I don't really know if this like Tudor style house is appropriate for 
balloon light and so this, I thought that since this is a fun space that there should be balloon light. Maybe this is kind of like a kid's choice. They wouldn't leave the store without the balloon lamp and so we are just going to be adding a lot of different like ages of stuff like with like like doll houses for the kid and then like other like toddler stuff but maybe even some infant stuff so it, everybody can hang out down here although I probably wouldn't like rely on the toddler to look after the infant and so like I said just doing a little bit of rearranging just to get this space working how I thought would be best and so just going to be moving these lamps on either side of the TV and I feel like it just kind of helps anchor in this space. And now we are just going to be adding some curtains. I wanted it to not feel like it's basement and so I chose the curtains with some clouds on it just to kind of give that illusion in a way and so we are just going adding a little lunch box which I think is such a cute item and it did help me g give a theme to the child who wants to be an astronaut when they grow up and so we are just going to be adding a little owl family in f underneath the TV and I thought that was just really cute and now we are just going to be adding some curtains up on the main floor or I guess it's just in the dining room. I do go back and add curtains in the kitchen and living room but for now we are in the primary bedroom and this bedroom like the rest of the house is very simple. There is not an attached bathroom. I guess you could like add a door and then like it could be like a Jack and Jill with the be this bedroom and then the hallway but this is what I came up with and if you want to change that you can do go ahead and download it and so if you want to do that you can find follow me over on the sims or gallery green underscore rose underscore sims is my id and if you want like more information on this house specifically th that is down in the description and so we are just going to be adding these gray curtains just to kind of go along with the uh bedding in the house and i didn't really want to add any more pictures and so my like, tv the parents can get away from the kids if they're having like a sleepover in the living room and then they can watch their other shows up here and so we are just going to be decorating the dresser and I just try to keep it very simple and that dresser doesn't really like to slot it only has two slots and so I just didn't really want to like mess with like all placing stuff at, at the moment when I was recording and so we are just going to be adding a rocket ship bed and I did want to add a bassinet because I haven't added that bassinet into a house yet and so we are just going to be adding a toddler bed and going to be putting a dresser underneath the rocket ship loft bed and so we are just going to be having the dresser be orange and blue and I do add a desk which is also this matching orange and blue and I wanted there to be a uh, changing table I think I don't I know toddlers don't need changing tables to for their bathrooms they have the to po to toddler potties but I was thinking maybe it's like still kind of necessary or they're planning on having a third child and so I just want to keep it kind of close in hand and so we are just going to be adding some decorations around the bedroom just little th things and I kind of came up with an idea for this room to be dinosaurs and rocket chips or space and that might not really go together but I, my idea was that the child really liked dinosaurs, but all of a sudden they're into space stuff, and so, but the toddler's still into dinosaurs, and so uh, 
it's kind of more at the toddler sink now. And we are just going to be moving the desk in to this cubby that I used to have the changing table in. I thought it'd be maybe more easy access for the parents if it's closer to the door. And it just had a little bit more flow, but better flow, moving the desk into this little cubby, which should have a fireplace in it because that's what it looks like from the exterior. I just forgot in the moment, but I do like the design of having a little fireplace spot on the exterior. And so we were just going to be adding a few pictures in the hallway, but also keeping it simple and a little star rug on the it, or not in the kids' room, and it's going to have a Monster Be Gone light. Not the actual name, but it, that's what the light does. And so now we are in the bathroom up here on the third or the second floor, or third floor if you're including the basement on the t top level, basically. And just keeping it kind of similar to the bathrooms on the um on the other two levels and so we are just going to be adding a little uh, towel hook that was really cute like they all have their little personalities in their towels and going to be adding a little rug so they don't slip when they are getting out of the shower and a plant again this room very simple very spacious for a bathroom but this is a space where everybody kind of needs to get ready in the morning at the same time and so we are just going to now be going into the office space which is the last room in the house and so I first wanted to start off by putting these bookshelves in the corners of the room and I wanted the room to just kind of be like a work at home space for either one of the parents maybe that's why the basement is kind of more like a play zone for their kids and so we are just going to be adding some decorations on the bookshelves and on the desk. And I added an art easel just to kind of bring some another skill building item in the house. And just going up to be adding some pictures, just kind of finishing up this house. And so we are just going to be adding a picture behind the computer. I don't know if anybody else is doing this or thinks about this, but like whenever I do an office and I'm like okay they were having a zoom call and they were like talking what would their background be I know that's kind of random but that's sometimes where my mind goes and so we are just finishing up this house just going to be doing the backyard very small very simple and so if you want to play in this house you can find it on the sims for gallery like i said earlier the information is down below also i post new videos every single tuesday so please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to head over to instagram i'm on there as well and hope to see you all next week